you know. So by you speaking a word, you know, it didn't cause me to react because I dodged what it was that you said, what was meant for a landing. It, you missed, you know, it, what you said didn't fall to ground. It didn't take root in my heart. So it didn't affect me. So what you saying is worthless. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to get to a place when you are a mature person. You just got to let those words fall to the wayside. You know, just like utilizing that sin. If you love sin, then you that's one thing. But if you hate sin, you just let it fall to the wayside. It don't continue on it. You don't continue on it. And that doesn't make you particularly religious. The same testimony is just a person that just don't want to deal with that. You could just say, hey, look, I'm not trying to be religious. I just don't go for sin. You know what I'm saying? And um you get to that point, though. It might not all easily come that way. But words... And this is just this is a, this is special to new, news bulletin for for the people you know that's going through this. A lot of people in the hood are going through mental health issues, whether we know it or not. They're going through this. They might not particularly uh, know it at the moment, but they are at some point. You know, is it might be sugarcoating it and undercover what they really feeling and not able to express the true hurt that they've been indulged in or what happened you know, when mom and daddy and auntie and uncle really wasn't there for them so it caused them to go a different route in life you know and it led them to make a wrong decision but you got to wait till that person is ready to submit to that fact. You can't stop them and cause them to stumble. And neither do you want them to cause you to stop or stumble. You know, you don't want them in your way and you don't want them in your way. You know, you don't want to block another person from what it is they doing, you know, until they finish that course of what they doing. So then they ready to probably be broken and receive that 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 understanding now because they heart ready they've been through enough now they ready to retire from you know uh being frustrated and angry and upset and full of bitterness and animosity from those that wasn't there in their life you know some people never had that uh, a true understanding at that t at that level, you know, people walked out and they made things more worse. They intensified the situation where it just became overwhelming, and they thought that that particular person was trying to be like that, but that person just had it up to there where they had to go do something where they thought it was going to relieve particularly that stress that they were in at that moment. And, and but see, this is why I wanted to create the CJC Hood News. Um, independent. I mean, uh, individual uh, home and business security for the simple fact that I mean, you can be made alert twenty four seven, three sixty five on what's going on. You know, and other people that are about public safety, law and order, and stuff like that, and the national defense can be there to assist you a little bit further in what it is that you're going through sincerity not off some little world trump and stuff but really be there for you to c consider what it is that you're going through and and get you the justification that you're supposed to get from those particular people and so uh that are in position and so this is what i intend to uh uh relate to people you know that I, I understand how it feels to be broken, you know, but I won't allow that to dictate per se my outlet that I got to go do this, that and the other. You know, some people, they got to go do this, that and the other. There's no other way that they can find themselves getting out. They not, they haven't been used to, they haven't been trained, you know, and then they feel like I'm too old to really religion and stuff like that. But just being able to say, I, you know, I just want to see about you personally. I, you ain't got to know that 
uh, I worship God and that I love God the way that I love God on the up and up, but just that I want to see to the need, see to the old need, you know, to see that I have enough love to be able to forgive you and to help you out of the situation, even though at some point you could have stirred something up and detour me or caused me to, you know, have to wait a little longer when you could have been having something else to do instead of being focused on a negative. Negativity, you could have been focusing on a positivity and, and did something different. And so sometimes you can't tell a person that that think that they had things that have worked around just because you were in a position don't mean that you was the deliverer. Moses was a deliverer. But guess what? He wasn't the one that was able to take the people across. It was the young people that was able to take the people across. And some people don't understand uh, that story. It was Joshua that led the people. Moses was supposed to do it, but because he got at the point he was angry, God gave a mantle to the, the youth. And so it's the youth that are getting ready to take the people to the promised land. It wasn't Martin Luther King Jr. who did it. He said, I might not make it over there with you. And there's a possibility he didn't, you know, but you know, it's going to be the, the youth that's going to take the people over to there. It's that Joshua that's going to take them over, you know, because Joshua can't be frustrated, you know. And so I tell you now, and that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get the second generation, the third generation. He's trying to, you know, he got one generation all frustrated. They frustrated by the habits that they went through because of what they saw. And so the, people don't think that you go through in this particular generation and that obstacles don't come up against you and that these temptations don't come up against you like you never been through nothing at all. But the fact of the matter of everything is they don't really understand what you've been through in the secrecy of your life. They don't really know until they fully understand stand and know and then they feel sometimes guilty that they know that you know what you know you know and they say wait a minute I can't really contain all that because I wasn't expecting you to really go through what you've been through I didn't know that you were really who you say you were becoming I didn't know it was destined for you to become great and you're making us w very alert that that's this you're not going to be moving by what you uh, hear and see and all this that and other but you've got a predestined future for your life. And, 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 and if you believe that you've accomplished it, who are we to try to say give you something different? Because you've got a set goal in your mind that you've set and you could for it. They don't really want you to be different. You know what I'm saying? They really want you to do the same thing. You know, so they say, you know, uh, be creative or share your ideals. And then when you do, they be like, wait a minute, we don't really want them. So those are the type of people you want to stay far from because they have a destructive mentality and it's they're not goal oriented at all in life and so if you can do it do it with everything and do it with a sense of love and a purity you know and, and pray for those that are least esteem and bless those that might have offended you with words you know but actions hurt too, you know, and sometimes actions don't even have to take place. It's the words that can hurt you more than anything. Words can hurt. They said words will never hurt. That's the biggest deception. Words can hurt a person like never before where they don't know what to do next. You know, just the words itself can hurt. You ain't got to have done nothing, you know. And then if it's compiled with that, then they really probably don't know how to uh, get over any of that, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they're not mature enough to gracefully get behind it. They, 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 they haven't really connected to God on that level to get that, uh, that healing, that deliverance. You know, some people need that. They need that. They don't understand. It's not that you mean for that, but somebody has to say, hey, out of love, you know, hey, you're going too far. You headed in a different direction. I'm trying to save your life, not trying to bring you into captivity, but trying to save you from going the wrong direction. And some people don't appreciate that you you're doing that 
because they didn't have that person in their life to stop them from going into ignorance. And then they go do the ignorance and then they get the consequence and they say, wow, I didn't understand what you were doing. It was trying to be that person to, to be that, that role model for you, to love you in spite of, uh, in spite of self to say you know what you might not have had this person and that person in your life to bring that correction out of the purposeful of their heart but let me show you how god loves and not in intentions to hurt you or to destroy you as an individual because that's what you have been programmed to particularly think some people think that if you do something you're doing it out of the intentions to get rid of them but the truth of the fact of the matter is that that's not the reality of it. You know, a father that loves a son and he corrects that child with the rod or whoops him. You know, you're not trying to particularly hurt that person. You're just trying to say, son, look, don't do this no more. And that way, don't touch that hot stove. Or if you continue to do that, you, you might wait a long time before you actually put that rod of correction out on that son but you letting them know like hey look boy i told you you can punch a person black they eye this that and the other but the fact of the matter is that ain't the love that i'm talking about the love that i'm talking about is to the point to say hey look you know the rod this the rod of correction man you know you know uh, hey son or daughter I, i'm in a place that look i love you to that place you know i love you to the point that look i don't want you to go across this this way after i've set this in order or uh son don't do this like that that needs to be reinstalled in the hearts not that's a point that you want to have dominion that you, it goes overbearing and overburdened you don't want to never get to that point that is where you want to do that with every single person that you come into contact with you see you don't want to do that with every particular person you want to do that with particularly those that had god gave you uh you like like you have a son or you have a daughter you know particularly that don't mean to go do that with everybody all the time and everywhere that just means to for t particularly for the ones that god gave you you know and then you might have to help other people down the line if they request that of you. And then some people request that of you and then say, why did you help me along this way? And sometimes you ain't got to physically do anything. It could just be communication, communication. Sometimes a person doesn't actually really want to receive out of the kindness. You know, sometimes you can be trying to get the kindness to a person and just offering communication to a person at a lower level you know what i'm saying to say hey i want to get in this particular agreement with you on this level and, and 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 just hear me on this i'm trying to get something to you that's going to save your life not to harm you not trying to harm you but trying to you know you you going through something that you don't know you going through and that you don't understand that there's people that has gone through before you that's causing you to go through what you're going through you now you may that person may offer you uh, well enough good enough advice to a certain degree but then when it comes back to them receiving it it's kind of hard for people to receive it even if it can be very well fruitful for their very own life you know because of the boards that they build up because of what somebody else has done and nine times out of ten I've known pit me deceived in that. Some people be saying you young, but it's I'm not every year I get older. So it's not it ain't it's not you get younger. It's not uh that my age I get younger. It say older, you know, old. It didn't say I get young. So I understand the difference. Every year we get older, but the mentality that I have can be younger, but my age I'm gonna get older, you know, so and older and you get older you don't want to continue to do the things that you did the year less than you want to get better every particular year you don't want to continue to do the same thing or the same uh 
mannerism that you did before. So I tell you, you know, um, to be a part of the solution, not part of the problem. And the first person that you are is the narrator of everything, and that's you. You the narrator, and you have to examine yourself. And this is I'm only sharing uh, some things that God has allowed me to examine myself over. You know that can probably be helpful to the next person to say, "Hey, look, you have been through this particular obstacle, that obstacle."